A neighborhood reeling tonight after a one-year-old was accidentally shot and killed by a teenager. The third child in central Mississippi lost to gun violence in the last month. That's right. 16 WAPT's Ross Adams live at 5 Precinct 2 headquarters tonight with reaction from a veteran law enforcement officer about what can be done to stop these tragic deaths. Ross? That's right, that longtime officer believes negligent gun owners need to be held accountable and parents need to take whatever steps they can to keep guns away from kids. Another Mississippi family grieving after losing a child. Jackson police say a one-year-old boy died after he was accidentally shot Thursday by a 14-year-old handling a 22 caliber weapon. Police say the gun went off and Jordan Bradfield was struck in the head. He was rushed to the hospital but passed away. I can't say how I feel about the situation because I've never been in a situation like that. But as a parent, I know she hurt. Whoever the parents are, both sides hurt. Bradfield is the third child in central Mississippi killed in an accidental shooting in just over a month. Canton police say in early June, nine-year-old Ashton Walden died after his two-year-old sister shot him with a gun she found under the seat of her mom's car. Days later, Vicksburg police say a 14-year-old playing with a gun at a house on Elizabeth Circle fatally shot his 11-year-old cousin. What can be done to stop this? Well, this problem starts solely and lies squarely on the household. Veteran law enforcement officer Kevin Levine teaches criminology at Jackson State University. Levine says a parent should never let a child know they have a gun in the house. Don't let them see it and say, don't touch this because you know that's the first thing they're going to touch. Professor Levine says the owner of a gun used in an accidental deadly shooting should face criminal charges unless they can prove they took steps to keep the weapon away from a child. That individual was grossly negligent and uh, should have uh, taken just any form of precaution then that individual needs to be charged. In Canton, police say the mom who left the gun in her car could face child neglect charges. And in Vicksburg, police have charged the alleged teenage shooter with manslaughter or culpable negligence. Officers have not arrested the owner of that weapon. Please consider the safety over your convenience when it comes to protecting these children from gun violence in your home. Now back to the sh Thursday shooting in South Jackson. Police did question the alleged 14-year-old who fired that fatal shot, but they haven't yet filed any charges in that investigation. Live in South Jackson, Ross Adams, 16, WAPT News.